Hey YouTube babies, this is Bree and I'm cooking again. Today I will be cooking southern style macaroni and cheese with a twist because I'm adding breadcrumbs on top. So let's get started. First I'm going to boil some water. As you can see I added some salt and I'm adding some olive oil, okay? Now I'm putting my noodles in and you're going to cook them to the al dente. What, you, what the package told me to do was six minutes so you can go buy a package or you can be ghetto and country and get one of the noodles and throw it on the wall and if it sticks, it's all dente. I know, I'm, I'm for real y'all, but that's how it should look. Okay, I have my three cheeses right here. I have some Kobe Jack cheddar and some Velveeta. Okay, now I have some heavy cream. Now I have about three cups I'm going to be adding to that. And I'm going to add my house seasoning as you guys can tell. And if you want to know what's in my house season seasonings just look down below and I will tell you guys what's inside all that seasoning okay now I'm gonna add three eggs to this okay now you guys you do not have to use heavy cream you can use milk but I wanted to use heavy cream because I wanted to do it you know the real fatty way because macaroni and cheese is not supposed to be healthy okay you guys just because I had lab band don't mean I don't get down and eat unhealthy food okay so yeah so I'm gonna mix all this stuff together like so and also you guys I did add sour cream I did not show that but yes I added about um about a cup of sour cream to that and I have some pepper right there I have and some pep smoked paprika right there okay you got smoked paprika and I'm gonna mix Excuse me for using a plastic utensil, but I'm a firm believer in not trying to mess up so many dishes because I am a messy cook. So I try not to use all, you know. But I'm going to add my cheeses to that, um, to all that milk and seasons and eggs. I'm going to add all that cheese to that. And I'm going to mix. So just continue to watch. What I'm about to show you next is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just going to be mixing all this cheese together with all this. I'm just going to be mixing everything together. All right, so just stay tuned. Now, you guys, I did have to add some milk because I kind of made too much. <laughs> So, I added a little milk, but like I said, this is pretty much, pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just going to be mixing everything together. All right, stay tuned. Now, you guys, I did grease my pan with a little bit of butter, and I'm putting some butter through my noodles so they won't be so sticky, sticky together. It just made it. See how it's not all together? But yeah. Now, I'm going to add all that stuff that I mixed together. Just put all of it. Now, I could put all this in a large bowl, but I don't have one at the moment, so I had to do it this way. Okay, but I would prefer mixing all this in a large bowl than putting it in your cooking dish, whatever you want to call it. But that's how it should look. And I am adding some of my house seasons on top, and some I put some of that smoked paprika on top of there too, as well. And I got some cheddar cheese, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top just so it casts a little bit on top. I would have put a lot more, but I wasn't thinking that I was putting breadcrumbs on top of it because I was going to add more cheese when it was in the oven, but I forgot I was adding breadcrumbs. But I use Texas Toast Croutons, the seasoning, seasoning kind. Yes, honey. This is, is so good. Oh, my God. But I'm going to beat it all together like so. You know, this puts out a lot of anger. And I got some melted butter. Real butter, y'all. And you're going to mix melted butter and... The breadcrumbs together it kind of toast it'll toast the breadcrumbs on top and I had, had to add a little bit more butter because I did not have enough because you want it to look like this and guys that's that breadcrumbs and that butter I'm telling you it smelled so freaking good when I was mixing it together so good 
but you gotta put the breadcrumbs on top like so see you guys I didn't put a lot of cheese on top because I, was, I wasn't thinking I was putting breadcrumbs on top I was not thinking I already put the breadcrumbs on top and I was like forget it there's enough cheese in there but you gotta add it all over like so and you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 and that is how it looks when it was completely done doesn't it look scrumptious I had this in the oven for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and guys, look how good this stuff looks. It was so cheesy and gooey, and those breadcrumbs, like, really, really did the job. I, those breadcrumbs, those um, croutons are the bomb. So I'm going to cut into it just to show you guys how it looked. You see all that cheese? Just look at it. Yes, honey chow. Yes, but you see that big lump of Velveeta right there? Don't that look good, y'all? But that is how it looked, you guys. And this is all we ate. We just ate the macaroni and cheese. Y'all see that big chunk of Velveeta? But like I said, you don't have to add all those cheeses. You can add whatever kind of cheese you want. But that Velveeta is like the secret because it gives you that creamy sensation of the macaroni and cheese. But just marinate all of it, y'all. This macaroni cheese was the bomb. But you guys, my next video, I will be making buttermilk ranch, lemon pepper fried chicken, y'all. Yum yum. That chicken look good, don't it? But that will be my next video, guys. Remember, stay blessed and thank you for watching me. And remember, like my video. Mwah! Love you guys. Mwah!